complete is the angle of elevation. Well, elevation is like if you're facing like horizontally like this and you're elevating or you're looking up, okay, so to your line of sight. So if you were to draw this, angle of elevation would look like this. So it's up from the horizontal. Now, say for example, if you're like this looking straight out and you're looking down, that's angle of depression. Like if you're depressed, you know, you, you, lower your, you lower your line of sight, right? So depression's down from the horizontal. That's going to look like this, okay? Now, in a lot of these problems, angle of elevation or angle of depression, what I recommend uh, for students is just think of a rectangle like this, okay? If you're looking, uh, let's just say like this, draw that diagonal. So elevation is up from the horizontal. Angle of depression is down from the horizontal. But what you'll notice is that these two angles are actually congruent to each other. They're called alternate interior angles. So if you remember when you learned about parallel lines, right? Cut by a transversal. See this third line, it cuts across. See, these are interior. One's on the right, one's on the left side of the transversal. Those are alternate interior. They're congruent. Also, because it's a rectangle, these sides are going to be the same, and these sides are going to be the same. So you can think of every problem in that that fashion like this. But let's get into an example and I'll show you. So a 10 foot ladder leans against a building with an angle of elevation of 48 degrees. How high up the wall does the ladder reach? Okay, so let's just say this is our building here, right? Okay, and here's the ground here, and here's the ladder like this, okay? And so angle of elevation up from the horizontal, that's gonna be your elevating, okay, 48 degrees. This is a right angle, and this is how high up it reaches, and the ladder is 10 feet tall. So what you want to do is you want to figure out like what trig function ties together this angle, this side, and this side. Well, you can see we have opposite and hypotenuse. That's the sine. So we've got sine of 48 degrees equals opposite over hypotenuse. And then what we can do is multiply uh, both sides by 10 to get h by itself, and we've got it. So let's go to the calculator. Let's see what that is. So let's see here we've got... 10 times the sine of 48. So it's about 7.4 feet. That's how high up it's reaching right there. So 7.4 feet. So again, angle of elevation, angle of depression problems. One other thing I would just mention is like, say for example, there was somebody you know in this uh, building, okay, right here, let's say they're looking out this uh, from this ledge right here. And if you extend out like that, they're gonna be looking down, okay, over here, like at this person at the base of the ladder, right? These two angles are alternate interior angles, and they're going to be equal to one another. So 48 degrees, this would also be 48 degrees. So I hope this helped you understand how to work with angle of elevation and angle of depression problems better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.